Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Listen, you knuckleheads, I think this really might be worth seeing. What's the least natural way to introduce your film's plot? Hey, have you guys ever heard of snakes being changed into people? This is Cult of the Cobra. That's not the snake. I wish it was. Sure, it's funny. Unless it's true. Six GIs stationed in India sneak into a temple of snake worshippers with the sort of covert skills you'd expect of the US military. <laughs> Although the cultists are at least a little to blame as they fail to notice the jeep parked outside. Come on, let's go! Run! And the doorman just lets them in. More white guys than usual this evening. Hey, that's swell. On their way out, the high priest curses them. One by one you will die! Yeah, he sounds Indian. How do you like it so far? Actually, quite a bit. This first ten minutes is fast, endearingly silly and very funny. Whether it means to be or not. It's not so funny. But then there's the next 70 minutes, which are... Slow and horrible. I love it when the movie does the work for me. That shoot something worth taking home. And they did, but then they get home and the film lapses into a coma. It might be fun. And yet it's not. Despite occasional gems of dialogue... Hi, baby. Want an egg? The thrilling murder and romance is anything but. Only a snake with a brain could have got into that room last night and singled out that same kid. To enact the High Priest's promised revenge, the G.I.s are followed home by Lisa Moyer, who can turn into a snake. <laughs> Must be a bloody tall snake. And that's not the only problem. Here's one of the murders. <laughs> can, can we just freeze that? <laughs> yes, that's not so much a snake as a hand. You've got to do better than that. I like a snake as a murder weapon. It's like that Sherlock Holmes story, The Speckled Band. You know, if the snake moved to New York, rented an apartment and fell in love with the man next door. I know, this sounds ridiculous. Rather than just killing its victims, which would be pretty easy. I think you're making fun of me now. Honestly, she spends more time socialising with these people than killing them. The problem with using a snake with a brain rather than just a snake is that while in New York, your murder weapon may want to go sightseeing. <clears throat> yeah, well, let's see now. We've been on the Staten Island Ferry, we've climbed the Statue of Liberty, I've shown you Wall Street, the Fulton Fish Market. And it can get away with it because the police coroner is a lazy bastard. I never would have believed it. We did what you suggested. Here's the autopsy report on Turner and Nardi. The coroner says death from asphyxiation due to snake venom. This is three murders in. It's nice that he's got around to establishing cause of death, but seriously, what was he doing up to this point? I don't know. I'd like to say that the climax recaptures some of the action of the start, but unfortunately, our hero wields a weapon against which the snake is defenseless. Tom, be careful! Ah yes, the feather boa. Mongooses never leave home without one. <laughs> All right, you can laugh if you want to. If only the other victims had been drag queens, they might still be alive. Not just a snake that turns into a woman, but a snake that turns into a woman, an evening gown and some jewellery. Let's just hope this is the end of it. Seriously, why would anyone make this movie? I have a great need of money. I was mixed up and I'd been drinking. Fair enough, but that doesn't alter my final opinion. I'm sorry, I think it's terrible. Thanks for watching. Is a snake with a brain the best way to kill someone with an animal? How would you use an animal as a murder weapon? Check out our other reviews and don't forget to subscribe for a new review every Tuesday. I'm counting on you all to be so gay, I won't have time to be nervous.